Good evening. Welcome back to In the Kurd. This is September 30th, 2022, 8.32 p.m. And we're continuing the trend of In the Kurd is about figuring things out. So again, I have tried something new today. Now, essentially what I was trying to do is have one light in the background there. Because what is happening with the footage, of course, yesterday's footage is unnaturally orange. I don't know why that is the case. But I've made sure that this light today is not, A, it's not orange. Like, should I keep it orange? this is orange okay i think it adds like a nice texture with a different color but i've kept the intensity very less and majority of it to come from the key light which is facing a little on this side so the footage overall stays white and then the correction makes some sort of sense other than that in the background i need to have this kind of light this ring light was an extra light i was having and it's at its lowest intensity right now but still in the frame it looks kind of bright but i think because of locked exposure and focus here it is kind of giving that little depth of field but it's not far away as well so that you can't expect a lot of depth of field there the uh, reason i have to have this light in the background is because there is this weird uh, green that's coming in the footage because of less light i know as a matter of fact when you don't give the sensor enough light the footage becomes grainy and that background graininess i don't kind of like now i'm not sure if that graininess is going to continue even today anyway i have to get two switchboards at the at the bottom extremes of the wall behind so i could then just position this light anywhere i want currently i have to keep it stuck on that side because the switchboard is on that side i'm not sure if i'm in the center i mean it's all a trial it's all an experiment like ali abdal was talking in one of his videos how i stopped overthinking he said that everything i do is an experiment so there we go experiment Starting off with the day, woke up at 6, took Snowy down, watched the win part of the BCS course. I'm doing this course from Canopy Games, Blender Geometry Nodes by Arendelle, and it's an amazing course. I saw three videos, the wind related videos where you add rotation and that randomness to the wind. I have to implement that, I haven't. Now at 12.40, I'm writing this, not much concrete work for the day as far as the full-time job is concerned. So thinking of picking up dad's work instead, might have to give a cut after some design changes. Can pick that up in second half. Yeah, let's just do that. But just post this, I kind of remembered that, oh, there were some things I wanted to change with the script I made yesterday, the layer script. Once I went into the world of After Effects scripting, there was no coming back. So just like a little while back, I completed that part. So couldn't get to dad's work. We'll probably get to it at some point. This is the script that I have made. It's called... Why is the beanie a little off? Bruh. It's called layers mask doc. Okay, I have these two layers here. Let me just hide this. I'll get to this later, that vector shape thing. But I have these two layers, which are pixels, which are images, which are PNGs, okay? These are PNGs. If you close the transparency, you will see that they are PNGs. Now, I'm gonna select both these layers. And you see over here, the new development I've done today is, of course, I've added icons instead of letters, the word letters yesterday, but also the direction has changed. So if I click on this, like intuitively, when you see this direction, you want the mask to be revealing in this particular direction, right? Okay, wait, it's at 40 pixels. That's way too slow. Let me just make the transition duration 20 frames. And when I click on this button, within 20 frames, I want the reveal to be happening from here. Okay, undo it. I'll just keep keyframes on. I, I'll just go one by one. Okay, up button. Up button, I'm revealing the masks like this. This button in this side. Left button, revealing the mask to the left. Center is something we have to work on. It's making butterflies. I have to figure out tangents, in tangents or tangents. We'll probably do that at some point. Right is making the mask in right. Then we have lower, down, left. So basically in this direction, the mask should come in. And then there's bottom. And there's DR, which is down, right. I have not put the icon here because I wanted to do it live just to show you how that is done. I'm going to go over how you add these icons in the script UI guide, which is this guide here, which is very boring and like Bruh. i hate reading it but somehow made sense out of this entire situation here and with the help of nt productions this video you can put icon button in two ways one is you can just you say icon button w dot add icon button undefined and then file you specify the location of the file on your computer the problem with that is it's not convenient at all right if what if those files are changed or moved or what if your script has to go into another computer and that doesn't have those files so the way to go about doing that is you embed the code the binary code or whatever code it is called into the script itself and the way you do that is using this to embed a graphic in a script file we must convert the contents of the binary file to a string the following script does that now this script again it requires file it requires for you to mention the path here and then 
and output path is given to that same thing. This I'm not a fan of. So I made my own version of the script and I will quickly show you that which is here binary file to string. Now I've made a simple UI here. Let me just run this so you get an idea of what I'm saying. If I just run this, you get this simple UI which has binary to string. It asks for a path. It has an edit box at, at the bottom underneath it and there's a create button. Let me just dump, jump into Illustrator again. Over here I've made these icons. They are all uh, Okay, that I'll get to. We have to export these as PNGs for the time being. Now this is the one that's remaining. So I'm gonna come in here. Alt Control E is a shortcut I have set for export for screens. Might not be the case in yours. Set a custom keyboard shortcut if you want. Now this is what we want to export down right. This artboard itself. Now just to quickly show you this, are all these artboards are 30 pixels by 30 pixels because that is the size I'm setting in the script as well. Alt Control E, down right, and I'm gonna put it in a new folder down right export artboard now down right is gonna have this png okay now coming back to your binary file to string I, now here i have a png image right i want the code for that so this script here does that code thing for me it gives this dialog box i'm gonna select path i'm gonna select this path okay the second time doesn't allow me to click <coughs> if is not equal to okay it just allows you to click once we got one chance you're gonna come in and select path and you're gonna navigate to and select this PNG, click OK. Now here in this text box, you get the path of what we selected. I'm gonna press the create button and what will happen is inside this, just next to that in the same folder, you'll get another file. Now this has a huge string here. What you wanna do is you wanna come in here, new string, you wanna delete this part and you'll delete these two and control A, we're gonna copy that later. Now this binary to file to string JSX that's that scripts work is done now i'm going to come to my main script here the layer mask doc.jsx currently if i run it it's like this this is still a text i'm going to come in here and you see here there is script icons binary code if i was to word wrap this this is going to be a <laughs> it's going to be a pain because you won't be able to navigate it so i have to keep word wrap off for these okay so now it's a little more readable I'm gonna come in here, make a new variable called down right button icon equals, and I'm gonna paste the code here. Actually, we get some codes from here, so copy this, come in here, paste, and at the end, I'm gonna add a semicolon and enter. Okay, that's that. Now, over here in your button definition, we have down right button group 3 dot add which is still at a normal button and a text called down right i want to make it an icon button so i'm gonna paste icon button here this will be undefined and instead of the name here we're gonna add this variable that i just created down right button icon and over here i just need extra one parameter of button dot size so down right button dot size is 30 30 okay now i'm gonna close the first instance of this script and this script now if i run this you have this icon coming up over here okay i can just in my after effects if i close this and then open it again where was it layer mask doc you will see that that's been updated so that's how you put icons in here that was one huge thing learned today one thing which i kind of got stuck at is if you look closely i don't know if it is visible on screen or not but because these are PNGs and they are only 30 pixel by 30 pixel they're kind of distorted at the edges like they're not like super crisp and clean like if you look at if you look at animation composer anchor point mover this is not pixel data this is vector and vector the way you can do it is by exporting it as SVG now I tried doing the same method where I exported this particular thing as an SVG and I even have these here like these are SVG files not SVG and I tried to apply the same method here to get the binary data for the SVG. If you see here, up left button icon dot SVG, I got this XML kind of thing. Now, the weird thing is both every time I ran this, different sort of stuff came in. Like here it's XML, here it's SVG ID. Bottom line is when I put the SVG icon here instead of the PNG icon, I get an error called file or folder doesn't exist. Basically, it's not able to read this particular data. So how do you convert the SVG file into a code that can be embedded here is something there is no information about on the internet. It's for me to figure out how to do it with like trial and error. Speaking of trial and error and figuring things out, this is working completely well, like exactly how I wanted to for pixel layers like 
images like these but when it comes to vectors this is very interesting when i'm selecting this vector this is a shape i've made inside after effects so just a pentagon if i apply this to a pentagon what is happening is the transformation of the mask is happening the way it should that's not a problem at all but the layer bounds is behaving very weirdly and this comes down to source rect at time so i was just trying to check this before recording if i keep my javascript console on basically how this is set up is project is the project comp is project or active item layer is this selected layer okay i'm trying to look at the source rect at time of the layer and w l h t is with height left and top now if i output Okay, I don't want to make a mask right now because I'm just trying to illustrate a point where I feel I'm stuck at this is if I press F5 you get this kind of value for your width 318.48 that is width the height of this layer is again some random value 302.8 interestingly the left and top also has a value left is a negative value and top is also some negative value which goes to say that I have to figure what is happening here. I have no idea. Bruh. Now I did try to do one thing is let's say just let's just make a mask on top of this layer on these random coordinates, right? The way I made these for the pixel layers is this is zero zero, so zero comma w. This will be w comma zero. This will be zero comma h. This is h. Okay, coordinate geometry. This will be w comma h, and then this will be w comma zero. That way, this is zero comma zero. That's what's important. But in this case, if I make a mask which has the first coordinate at zero comma zero, see what happens here. Sorry, if I here, it makes a mask here. Now what that means is, for some reason, the zero zero of this layer is here. So what it means is, I need to offset the value here for the mask by some number, which is a combination permutation combination of w l h t and i don't know what that is because that is my task to figure out like how what that is going to be but anyways i don't need this script to work for vector layers like there is a limit you have to set at how applicable your script is you can't have a script work for everything in the world so this is specifically only for these kind of layers which i get in my full-time job work every day in day out is the leave your layers and the easiest way is just to reveal it in a particular direction so no more taking the pen tool or these tools and then making a mask and then keyframing it's all done with this beautiful script that i made today is friday that means we're heading into the weekend first september first october second october oh god second october is a sunday just one day we could get a long weekend up until monday Bruh. sad a couple of things i noticed from yesterday's video which i recorded the audio using wait we are recording the audio no? <coughs> yeah i recorded the audio using the headset the sony wh1000 xm4 I still haven't learned the name. There was an incredible amount of lag at every point in that video. So I had to keep going in and adjusting the audio because it's Bluetooth, right? Time the signal is going into audition and the way I'm speaking, that's not synced up. So I can definitely not use it for recording sessions like these. But other than that, the headphone has worked flawlessly. It's worked amazing. I think the battery is at around 60%. So in a couple of days, it's gone down, it's gone down by 40 or 45%. But that's okay because I'm using it the entire day I'm using it I'm using it as on my phone I'm using it on the computer I made the sound design for the for one video with that it was amazing it's amazing for calls surprisingly in reviews people say that it doesn't work good for calls the sound quality for calls is meh it's okay issue won't get studio quality but everyone I've spoken to on calls from office they've like it's perfect no problems at all i got on a gmeet call today it worked flawlessly i have got on a couple of whatsapp calls yesterday it worked flawlessly big thumbs up so far again i'll wait for 30 days and then i'll do a 30 day review of using the sony headset mx whatever the name is i'm already into the 20th minute but in the weekend my plan initially was that every single weekend i'm going to try and make a 3d project and i really want to stick to doing that there's no hard and fast rule here but what i want to do this weekend is the magnum ice cream like modeling particles simulation chocolate yes please magnum ice cream commercial and i want to put it out on monday like that's after the weekend so i'm gonna try and do that but i cannot like promise of course i have to like allocate time to doing dad's work now which is kind of important as well so which is very important in fact i will try i will try my best that i can make that I can stick to that one 3D project every week. Thank you so much for being in the code. I'll catch you on Monday or tomorrow, however it is. Peace.